been someone's wife. <laughs> I've been someone's wife for close to two years now. How amazing. Naku Alute and you are most welcome to my channel however I would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing YouTube family and to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back guys so it's been a while like I had you know a proper chit chat with you guys so I thought why not do one today because yeah we really need to catch up and so yeah today is going to be like you know a very chilled chit chat video I have my drink here with me so you should also get yourself a drink and let's do this together so before we get into our chit chat proper um your girl has been nominated for an award as um content creator of the year by spotlight awards africa and i would really do appreciate if you guys you know go vote for me so we bring this award home so i'm going to put the flyer here it has the instructions on how to vote and everything so all you need to do is you know vote for your girl um, a vote is like one cd so you can vote you know as high as 100 ghana 200 ghana that's just by the way and i want to say a huge thank you to all of you because without your support i don't think i would have been recognized you guys made this happen and i'm so grateful so back to our chit chat on this whole you know um being a content creator and all of that a couple of weeks ago yeah i was talking to a friend from like high school and she was surprised as to how i'm now a content creator i'm sort of not like i'm out there but like i'm sort of out there because um back then i was like a very quiet person shy you'd always see me keeping to myself like you barely hear me talk i'm still a shy person but she was like wondering how you know all of a sudden it looks like i'm comfortable doing all of this and so I sat down to think about it and I was like, how did I even overcome like my shyness? It's not like I've totally overcome my shyness, but I feel like when I'm doing like this, this is something I love. So like probably if I'm in the midst of people and I'm supposed to talk for the very first few seconds, I would be, you know, nervous, shy and all of that. But once I get into the groove, like the shyness just vanishes because obviously it's something I love to do. And so yeah, I sat down a couple of days back and I was like, you know, thinking about how I've been able to overcome shyness and like I'm a bit outspoken now. Anybody who knows me from like Ola boarding days or UPSS days would tell you this is a whole different narco because back then like I was very quiet and like I said, I'm a bit outspoken now. And I sat down to think of it and I was like, you know what, a couple of things have actually happened which has contributed to me, you know, getting to this level, like this level of self-esteem. I think some of the things that have actually led to me um, being a bit outspoken now and also, you know, having this level of self-confidence is the fact that um, I've taken part in beauty pageants before. I feel it sort of, you know, groomed me to some extent. I've taken part in three beauty pageants. Yeah, three beauty pageants. Um, Miss UPSS, Miss Adeshe, and Miss UCC. Um, I won Miss Adeshe, by the way. I feel like these pageants um, sort of, you know, groomed me in a way because you know during pageants you are supposed to like give a speech like yeah you are supposed to give a speech you're supposed to you know perform your talent you know the talent show thingy and like 
there are a whole lot of people there you are talking to people that you don't know from nowhere a lot of strangers like a lot of people watching you a lot of eyes on you so i feel like taking part in these beauty pageants have contributed to me becoming you know a bit outspoken now and being confident because back then like i was so quiet you never like even if there's something bothering me yeah i'm like in my corner i'm quiet i won't come and talk also i think another thing that has led to me being you know this outspoken is also the fact that i've held you know um some leadership positions before you know when you're a leader when you're perfect like you need to be a bit hard not like a bit hard i was not even hard as a perfect to be fair i was not so hard as a perfect but um like you are constantly interacting with people and all of that um so yeah i was a protocol perfect in in high school like upss and i was also the president of the writers dramas and writers dramas and debaters club and when i was in ula boarding i was um, a dormitory prefect yeah so i feel like these things have you know contributed to me being a bit outspoken and overcoming shyness to an extent and also being like attaining this level of self-esteem and self-confidence like I feel right now no matter where I go to like if there's the need for me to speak I'll definitely speak which was not the Naku like years ago like if, even if there was the need for me to speak I'll just keep quiet and sit in my chair so yeah I can't remember when I was at Africa world we had this you know end of year um, dinner end of year Gatsby thingy and I was the co MC for the show and i remember after the show or even during the show when a couple of people like some of the the employees got to know that i was the mc like a lot of them were surprised because uh, how is it that naku who, who is like you know so quiet shy how is she the one going to be the mc for this show so when the show started i can't remember when the show started like i was a bit shy like you know my i was just keeping it cool but i feel like because it's something i love to do like i said earlier on this because it's something i love to do once like i get into the groove i don't know where the shyness vanishes to i don't know where that level of you know self-confidence and um, self-esteem comes from but like i just kill it and that's me like and i feel it's it should be that easy if it's something that you love to do so yeah the whole point of this conversation on this you know particular topic is to share with you guys some of the ways i think i managed to overcome shyness to an extent and also to you know attain this level of self-esteem and self-confidence and so yeah if you are somebody who is you know battling with you know shyness self-confidence self-esteem i think i don't know like this is my experience and i thought you know why not share share with you guys because it was a conversation i had with a friend like you know a couple of weeks ago and i always say this to people that people who know me from like way back whenever they see that i'm on youtube whenever they see that like i'm doing this they are surprised like most of them are surprised because how <laughs> guys also like i get a lot of people asking me how is life after marriage and sincerely i mostly don't know how to answer them or i don't know what they are expecting because i don't know if there's supposed to be like you know a significant change after marriage like i don't get it because it looks like people are expecting like a whole new world after you get married or a whole new you after you get married but yeah so because of this whole how has life been after marriage and all of that like i sat down to do like a little assessment of my life before marriage and my life after marriage and wow i've almost been married for for close to two years now this is amazing like i've been someone's wife <laughs> i've been someone's wife for close to two years now how amazing but yeah so like i was saying i sat down to do you know a little assessment of my life before marriage and my life after marriage and sincerely not a lot has changed i don't think 
I don't know what people expect, but yeah, not a lot has changed. I'm going to share my own whatever with you guys, but people make it look as if when you get married, like you're supposed to have a whole new life. It's supposed to be like a whole new you. No, man, it's still the same me. I still do me. So yeah, I feel like a few things might have changed, but it's nothing so huge so for me i feel like my social life is a bit different now as compared to you know when i was not married and i feel like you know being married is um part of the reason why there's a change in my social life but aside that i also feel like i'm growing the things that i was doing like back then like four or five years back are not the same things that i'm going to be doing now like man we are going it's not like i don't go out now but there's a difference i don't know if you guys get it like back then you see me at bloom you see me at what's that place called charms <laughs> like yeah back then you see me at bloom you see me at charms you see me like i was literally everywhere jamming i love to jam like i'm i'm a fun loving person i don't joke with my jamming but i feel right now aside being married yes i can't always be out all the time because obviously i need to be home with my husband unless if we are going together and all of that i still go out with my friends um by myself like to have a good time to jam but it's not you know as often as it was when when I was not married and also I feel like the kind of social life I have now is not this it's not the same social life I was having back then like the social life back then was the whole you know jamming jamming every day from here to here going to club doing that doing that but I don't even have the energy for that anymore like now when I go out like if I go out on a Friday right I'll sleep almost the whole day on the next day which is a saturday like i would sleep almost the whole day because my breath and that's how bad it is but back then i could go out on the friday still go out on a saturday and probably even go out on a sunday because like i had energy e for energy but right now me needs that energy you know and aside the fact that i'm married and all of that yeah i love to go out with my husband we've been to bloom a number of times we've been to the club a number of times and all of that but i feel as you grow or as you mature your social life also um how do i even say it changes right yeah your social life changes not that if you say i should go to bloom to jam today i won't go i would go but i feel like the frequency with which i used to do it back then is not the same as now because yeah that's my life now to be fair and i i think also has to do with you know you are growing you are matured now change in taste change in preference change in like the environment you want to be in and all of that like if you know me very well you know i love to jam like me i love to jam i love to jam all right guys so let me quickly you know drop this in before we continue so i'm planning to have my first um youtube live when we hit 8,000 subscribers so we're almost at 8,000 subscribers um we have 7,886 subscribers so i'm planning to have my first youtube live when we hit um 8,000 subscribers i was going to say um 10k but the goal is to reach you know 10k by my birthday which is 20th june and i feel like if i wait till 10k i would I, i'll keep you guys waiting for for a long time like it's not like june is so far away but i feel like you know you deserve it so we're going to have our first youtube live when we hit 8k which i know is going to happen soon so yeah and the goal is to hit 10k by my birthday so guys i know you guys never let me down so let's make this happen like, like that would be the greatest birthday gift i 
can ever have for my youtube family so let's make this happen 10k subscribers by 20th june however i'll be having like two different live sessions you know so i'm going to have like a, a first one which will be like a general live session for all my subscribers and that will be my official first youtube live and yeah i think we'll have that for like an hour <coughs> So I think we'll have that for like an hour and, and after that we would have another exclusive YouTube live for my channel members. Like that would be for those who have signed up for my channel membership. Unfortunately, this feature is not available in Ghana yet. But if you are in any other part of the world and you'd want to, you know, have another exclusive YouTube live with me, then um all you need to do is you know join my channel membership i'll put the link here i'll also link it in the description box all you need to do is join and you'd have access to you know the exclusive live as well which would be for just members so with that being said i actually want to shout out one person um jessica so jessica was the first person to actually you know sign up to my channel membership and she's been so supportive like always here to watch my videos commenting even on instagram like she's always engaging with my content and i really do appreciate it the fact that you are paying like a monthly fee to watch my videos and all of that like i really do appreciate it so yeah as time goes on i'll be you know creating content for members only at some point too so if you join the the channel membership you, sh you can let me know what type of exclusive videos you would want me to create for just members and i'll do that for you guys and yeah so that's just about it we'll be having our first youtube live when we hit 8k subscribers also i constantly have some of you asking me like you know what's up with me because because you guys see me going to the gym like during weekdays and a lot of you are you know wondering what's up like work wise and all of that I've had like a number of you message me to ask me so, so yeah since we are having you know a chit chat and we are catching up uh, I just thought to let you guys know so yeah I quit my job I quit my nine to five I actually quit my job um, last year I quit my job in November and yeah so <laughs> so yeah I quit my job in November last year it was a hard one but it was a decision that had to be made anyways so i made that decision and yeah so um i don't know what i'm saying but yeah i, quit, <laughs> I don't know what i'm saying but yeah i quit my job last year november now i'm still concentrating on my business if you don't follow my business account on instagram you should do so it's last person on instagram and um, i'll put the handle here so please do well to follow we actually have new arrivals and with last question quality is assured like no fake zone we get all our stuff directly from source from the uk and then our bikinis too we have our own suppliers like the quality of our bikinis and the quality of our like all our items are matched so do well to follow my business page but that was just by the way and you know how when they say like um when one door closes for you another door opens so i quite remember when i was you know quitting my job i said to myself if i'm to get you know another job i want something that would be you know more flexible i want some level of flexibility with whichever job um i'll decide to take up next so surprisingly barely like a few weeks after i quit my job i got another job and this job is like has that level of flexibility that i like i wished for and it's so amazing like it's just mind-blowing that like you wish for something and then the moment when you decide to you know take that bold move to to stop this one like that door also opens for you and it's i don't know it's actually just amazing so yeah i'm concentrating on my own business now and i'm also managing the social media account of a brand and i'm also doing this like youtube content creating and all of that and yeah so that's me like 
I'm still trying to figure out my life. I, I don't have it all figured out. I don't think anybody has it all figured out. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure it figure my life out. I know some of you may think my life is like jeje li jeje. I have like everything going on well for me. It's not like like I'm grateful for where I am. All I'm saying is nobody has it all figured out. And my look bear in mind people only show you what they want you to see me i show you what i want you guys to see even when i vlog going about my day and all of that like i sh people show what they want you to see so never sit there and think that um like you don't know what others go through so you know it's not it's not that smooth for anybody so yeah like i'm saying all I'm saying is I'm still trying to figure out my life. Nobody has it all figured out. And it's it's a gradual process. Like, I'm definitely not where I was yesterday or like a couple of years back. And I'm also definitely not yet at where I want to be. Do you understand? So yeah, it's like a work in progress. And each day at a time, baby steps. We'll get there. That's what's up with me. And that has been my life lately so it's been like almost a good five months since i quit my job and yeah all right guys so i think i'm going to end this video here um i hope you guys enjoyed you know our little chit chat and you know catching up um, if you guys want me to do like more chit chat videos Sincerely, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about if I'm to be doing like chit chat videos very often So if you guys want me to be doing more chit chat videos I would really do appreciate if like you can leave it in the comment section below what you want us to be talking about during our next chit chats So yeah, I would really do appreciate that drop them in the comment section below so that we can have you know more chit chat videos and and yeah thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed to the channel you know what to do kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family and don't forget to vote for me as content creator of the year i'm going to put the flyer here again just follow the instructions and vote for your girl let's bring this award home until then i'll see you guys in my next video bye